Hi, my name is Sarah Tamler. Um, I've been at Aprovecho for eight months doing the uh, intensive program. Um, for my independent project, I took on Apro's um, outdoor kitchen, specifically installing an oven. Um, I decided to take on the oven because I'm really interested in home heating systems and cooking systems. I think that it's really important for people to be able to um, cook and heat their homes, uh, hopefully not using propane. Um, and I wanted to really experiment and develop my skills in, um, in specifically bricklaying and metal work um, with uh, heating and cooking in mind. So with the Bear 11, um, this entire structure is, uh, is made of a brick vault. Um, it starts with a urbanite foundation. Um, it then goes to a concrete pad to make it level. Uh, it then, uh, I started laying the courses of brick um, right on top of the concrete pad. Um, and this firebox is pretty neat. It, um, it has a chute in it, uh, or a flume shape, that you put the fire into, um, and then it directs the flames and the, the heat around the sides of the barrel. Um, so this vault is actually not resting on the barrel itself. It has a two inch airspace all the way through. So just like this arch is self-supporting, this vault is self-supporting as well. And then the barrel is resting on the brick frame um, and then has space for heat to go around and out the chimney at the top. The barrel, uh, I am a, a new metal worker and I was really excited about learning the techniques of, um, of creating this barrel, um, including all of the welding and fabrication of the metal parts. So um, this is a 55 gallon drum. It has a lid that was attached to it and um, I added a uh, uh, entire box of insulation um, to really keep the heat inside of the oven and not let it escape. Um, I welded that insulation into a little box um, inside of the, the door, which I split into two. Um, I then welded the bottom of the door onto the barrel itself um, and then fabricated these hinges so that when you open the oven, the door is self-supporting. Um, there's also racks inside that are resting on angle irons um, that are welded into the side of the barrel. Um, and the nice thing about this design is that when eventually the barrel inevitably rots out, it's pretty easy to just unscrew the different components and put them into a new barrel. So the oven works like a conventional oven. Um, it's pretty high capacity. It's nice because Apro has sometimes 30 plus people staying. Um, and it has two racks that go all the way through, all the way to the back of the oven. It's, um, it's a really nice design in terms of the amount of time it takes to heat up. Um, this oven should, when it's really got a fire raging in there, it should heat up in 15 minutes to a conventional oven uh, temperature. The brick is all laid with uh, a clay-based mortar, so the ingredients are clay and sand and water. So uh, the benefits of that is it's a lot less, uh, it's a lot easier to work with. Um, it doesn't set up really fast. It's a lot easier on, uh, on your skin. It's n a nicer material to work with. If you ever reuse the brick, it's really easy to take off. We have a temporary roof on it um, for the wet season um, and it will get a plaster to help protect it as well.